They don't look too impressed with us being here and the mic is on. Okay. I smell a lot of rubber. What does it look like? Well, right now it looks like you're surrounding my cruiser, which I don't really appreciate. We have press. You don't need to intervene with us, okay? You don't need to intervene. Conduct your traffic stop and mind your own business. You have press? Yes. We're so have a good night. You don't need to worry about us. Concentrate on him. It's a, it's a safety issue, so concentrate on him. You can get that out of my face. You're intervening with the press, sir. Get that out of my face. Your sergeant knows we're here, sir. I know you're here. Well, I know you're here. What's that? Yeah, so why are you asking about who we are? Huh? Conduct your traffic stop, or you're going to end up having this conversation in front of a Superior Court judge. You understand me? Do you understand? You will get sued. So conduct your traffic stop. Remember your oath. We might have a problem with this one. Yeah. Keep an eye on this one. What's your name, sir? JP. All right, what's your actual name? Am I under suspicion of committing a crime? Yes, you have a warrant. I do. Out of Manchester. I have a warrant out of Manchester? What's your full name? Do you have an ID? I have a warrant. You you just ran me. What, what's your name, sir? It's Matthew. Matthew what? Phillips. Okay, do you have an ID? Not on me, I'm not required to give you one, sir, and I don't have a warrant. I have a lawsuit against Manchester. Nine two zero one zero. Saying I got a warrant out of Manchester. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yeah. What did I get a warrant out of Manchester for? This will be interesting. I was just in court against Manchester PD last week. The officer's probably lying to you, remember, because they're trained to lie. I don't know. I had an ex parte order against them last week in Superior Court South. But I know I don't have no warrant there. I don't drive, so. He's got that? his hand on his gun, watch him. Did you hear that? Yeah, he's got his hand on his gun, watch him. You say where it's out of? Manchester. Yeah, but for what? I'm not sure, they're confirming it right now. Confirm a warrant for what though? Why wasn't I approached about it before, or the ex parte order in Superior Court? Because I have a lawsuit against him. Okay. Yeah. Well, you're in Rochester now, so if you have a warrant, it's active. Yeah, but I don't have no warrant. I, I, I talk to police on a daily basis, like daily. Okay. Yeah. Uh -oh. Do you get the plate? I haven't. I'll get the plate, though.
Hey, Saj. This ain't out of a Warren out of Manchester? Possibly. So why is that? I have an ex parte order against them. I had a, I, I'm suing them. I don't know what's going on with Manchester. They're confirming it now. So. A warrant for what, though? But that's they have to confirm. Yeah, but how did you guys know my name before I was even here? That's strange. Before you were here? Yeah, because he, he said I had a warrant before I even gave him my name or ID. Your information is public. So? So why would I have a warrant out of Manchester? I was just in an ex parte order against me in Superior Court South. Like it came out like last month, so I don't know what Last month? Yeah. What For what, though? That we have to confirm. That was like around the time of the, the DUI checkpoint. That would be very bizarre. Because he was arrested during the checkpoint. If there is one. Supposedly false reports. False reports? Supposedly, if, it, if it's confirmed. I don't know if it is or not. This saying is a warrant for me filing false reports. <laughs> he was actually at the PD with me doing a full-fledged investigation against a, a Detective Brown that we have a video of, but that's all I know. That's all I know right now. That's all I know. They're False calling, reports. They're calling to confirm it. That's all I have. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, uh, basically, Manchester PD says they have a warrant because I filed false reports, but I know the camera guy... Chris that's holding the camera, me and him were in the, in the PD about a month ago. It was about a month ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's about right. Um, doing a, uh, a full-fledged uh, complaint on a Detective Brown. Yeah, so that's going to be retaliation. Well, it'll be a violation of the ex parte because the judge ordered in the ex parte that they need to stay away until the next hearing. Okay. So. And that'll be Judge Colburn out of Superior Court South, which is Nashua. And it doesn't take this long to confirm a warrant. <laughs> so what would that mean? I go to your PD and I have to get bailed out and get a court date? If it's from Manchester, if Manchester would like to speak with you, then we'll be transported to a Manchester officer. Really? So what is it? A stop and hold then? Not a warrant? It's not even a stop. I mean, he's stopping you for whatever offense. No, no. The, 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 if, if they want to speak to me, that means it's a stop and hold, they'll not wanna, a warrant. They'll want to process you. They either want to process you or they want to give us a court date and we'll have, you know, we would bail you and then give you their court date. You might have to follow me to the PD, man. Yeah, that will be interesting. So what's that about? It means that uh, they confirmed the warrant. So we're going to have to take you into, a, into custody and transport you to Epping where you meet with a Manchester unit. There. Epping? Yes. Manchester will pick you up. <sighs> Did you hear that? Um, yeah, where, where exactly Manchester? I need to go to, why would it be in Epping? That's no way near Manchester. They're doing a relay, Gil. The way that works is we'll make the arrest, we'll do a relay to the Manchester police in Epping because it's like the halfway point. So Manchester, will come from Manchester, we'll go down to Epping, we'll meet up with the Manchester unit, transfer custody of you to Manchester. <laughs> You think you could do this for me tonight? Yeah. Oh my god. So Whatever. I gotta go to Epping and go to basically Manchester. Okay. So I'm gonna meet you at Manchester then. I right? guess so. I <sighs> guess it, it's gonna be the same department they arrested me, probably. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let me just pull my gear away. That's fine. Filing a false report? That's up to you in Manchester. I have, honestly, we're like the messengers in this. We have no idea what that's about. Yeah, I'm, putting your mic, I'm putting your mic in the center. Okay.
I might need 40 bucks. Okay, do you, do you, can I give him the money now? No, you have to go to Mitch. Alright. The only thing I'm probably taking is my phone. Okay. Just to make sure everybody knows what's going on. I put my keys to the, the apartment is in, in the bag. Are you going to take the radio with you? Yeah. Take the radio. Well, they're probably going to take it from me. Well. So, um. Hey, do you know my number? No. Uh, you're gonna want it. I'm I'm like out of juice. Okay, well, they're gonna. Do you have a Here, paper I'll and pen? I'll write it down for you. I'll write his phone number down for you. And um, I want to give you uh, uh, my niece's number too. Okay. So you can possibly, if I have to be held, give her the keys so she can get in. Okay. You left the keys in my car? Yeah, it's in, okay. in my bag. Okay. Would you? Be opposed to me writing down your phone number for him, or no? Okay. What's your phone number, sir? So? Um, so I, I don't understand. I've had two ex parte. Right, hold on a second. 